Leonese, in Dnyan or Chinmudra, head, neck, shoulders, back, all in a straight line, eyes and mouth gently closed. Bring your awareness to your eyebrow center, Brumadhyaya. Here, try to visualize the form of a bright burning candle flame. Or you can also choose to visualize the form of your Guru or your Ishta Devata. Maintaining your awareness on this experience at the eyebrow center, we shall chant the mantra Om three times all together, followed by the Shanti mantras. Taking in a deep breath. Oh. Oh. Together. Om Sahana Vavato Sahana Bonacto Sahavir Yang Karavahai Tejas Vina Vadita Masto Ma Vedvishavahai Om Shanti 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 Hi Hari Hi Om हरि ओम तत्सत नमो नारायण जय हो अ वेरी वार्म वेलकम टू ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट्स ऑफ दिस वसंत पंचमी अ योगिक पर्सपेक्टिव सेशन वी आर सून अप्रोचिंग वसंत पंचमी एंड Vasant Panchami for some of us might hold some significance. For some of us, we might not really know what Vasant Panchami is. But today, let us spend some time trying to understand what does Vasant Panchami mean to a practitioner of yoga? How does a practitioner of yoga approach? this entire range of different vratas. India and the Indian calendar is dotted with many such vrata vaikalyas. So, today let us spend some time trying to understand more about this. Over to you, Shilpa. Thank you, Swamiji, for the short introduction to the topic today. And you also introduced kind of my first question is that, as you said, the Indian calendar is dotted with, you know, multiple fasts and festivals. And uh, of course, each one of them has its own special significance um, in, you know, daily life. Uh, but could you tell us, you know, what is the significance of fasts and festivals um, in yogic life in general? And then because there's so many of them, uh, you know, which ones uh, are most important or how do we choose which are most important to us? And, you know, with, because following all of them might not be possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, that is true. That is true. But before we go ahead, I would like to have a question to our audience. And depending on what the answer is, the path of our conversation will take up ahead. Because uh, you see, you must remember that this is an in-conversation session. So 
there has to be a conversation so what is it that we want from life every person wants something in life so what is it that we want in life you can post your answers in the chat box and based on your answers we will move ahead okay Swamiji, could you please repeat the question or rephrase it? Uh, what is it that we want in life? From the festivals or in general? In general, in general. Okay, okay. that's a nice answer. Peace and contentment. Okay. happiness balance acceptance compassion happiness and peace peace and contentment joy and bliss bliss yeah very nice very nice mm. <laughs> but who stops us from being happy contented having nice empathy having peace of mind having balance and compassion who stops us from having all of that and why is it that we don't have any of it or sometimes we feel we don't have that circumstances and our expectations okay our mind hmm beautiful that is true that is true so on a yogic perspective i think our answers can be uh, whittled down to two first question is what do we want in life we want happiness and happiness in different forms when we have balance when we have uh, acceptance when we have peace finally there is happiness in english is a good word but uh, basically we want anandam when we have anandam look at small children they are always happy and they don't really need anything when they are hungry they will cry they get some food and they are always happy and what stops us is our mind and a part of that mind is also our self you see uh, it's beautiful that you have written self with a small s because the self with a small s is the one which actually limits us and the self with a big s the super consciousness s is the one which actually liberates us from all these problems and as practitioners of yoga the answer that the mind is a very appropriate answer because the mind is the tool we have an uh suppose we have a computer the computer has got three parts an input system a processing system and an output system our But human beings also have three parts an input from the five senses the processing into which the antakaran plays a great role and the output where in the karmendriyas come in now the question comes in that why are we not happy we are not happy because we desire something and we don't get it and when that happens we are not happy and this simplest form 
goes on increasing and increasing and increasing and increasing, creating an entire web around us. If I wish to have something and I don't have the capability to have that, what is the way to get it? Suppose there are grapes which are at a height where I cannot reach. And so I'm trying to reach them, but I'm falling short. Then if I need to get those grapes, what do I need to do? A ladder or increase our capabilities. Yes, that is very important. How to do that? That is what we learn in yoga. Because external capabilities, if I need to have my body, if I need to train my mind and get a job, etc., that's fine. But where it comes to peace of mind, where it comes to happiness, these are all intangibles. These are things which cannot be really measured. So how and where do we get them? Also, happiness is different. The definition of happiness for different people is different. So how do we quantify that? How do we make it possible for everybody? We can make it possible for everybody when we are able to bring it down to the basis. And when we bring it down to the basis, then it becomes easy. We need to improve our abilities. And to improve our abilities, we will need to enrich ourselves in the same manner as uranium. When it is enriched from uranium 235, it becomes 238. Then it becomes useful for radioactive purposes and a lot of energy can be extracted from it. In the same way, we need to upgrade ourselves, inner selves. And the best way for upgrading ourselves is the path of yoga. Because we must know that yoga does not just mean asana and pranayam. Yoga is that way by which we can manage our mind. And once we manage our mind, we are able to harness the abilities of our mind. Then our mind is like an elephant. Very, very capable, very powerful. Just we don't know how to command it. When we are able to do that, anything and everything becomes possible. And the best way of doing it is yoga. Everybody will not be able to practice yoga the way we understand it. Suppose I am 65, 70 years old. I have got a bad back. I have got a cervical problem. I have got hypertension. I have got 101 diseases. So. No, then I can't do it. Or I don't have the inclination. So I can't do it. So does that mean that a big chunk of the society is left out of it? There are some people who are, whose minds are not so prepared to be able to work in that direction. For these types of people, who will not be able to form, uh, practice the classical forms of yoga, our ancestors prepared a bunch of activities by which we could achieve the same goal to be able to harness the energies of the mind, to be able to connect with our inner selves, to be able to enrich ourselves and focus. When we practice higher forms of yoga, we connect with our inner abilities and we are able to bring forth newer abilities. We also practice pranayam. Prana is that subtle force in life which is able to do all the things. It is like the battery which operates 
these gadgets. If the battery is down, nothing will happen. So we need that pranic energy. And we also need the higher level of energy. There are two degrees of circuit, two types of circuits. The lower circuit and the higher circuit. The higher circuit allows us to go into the higher dimensions of life. The lower circuit allows us to only remain in the mundane level. So when we want to go higher, become a genius, become an extraordinary person, or when we have extraordinary situations, circumstances, and we need to overcome them, if situations are extraordinary, then we will also need extraordinary resources to overcome them. Those of us who are capable, we will practice yoga and connect to that higher self and uh, achieve those things in life. But for those who are not able to do that, our ancestors have formed an entire gamut of practices which allow us to tap into the same energy in a totally different manner. This is the basis of Vratas. And true to their uh, abilities, they have not limited themselves only to specific practices, but they have embedded it in multiple dimensions. They have brought in the astronomical and astrological factors because these factors work with the cosmic energy and the configurations of the cosmic energy. All of us know that, not all of us, but some of us, I hope, would know that if we have to sail in the sea, then we need to know when the tide is coming in and when the tide is going out. Even today, the big ships, big, big ships, when they need to go, they work with the tide. Why? Because these tides, they are powerful. The currents are able to do a lot and we can harness that current. In the same way, on the global level, there are subtle forces which come up. And these subtle forces need to be harnessed. One of the aspects of Vratas is harnessing this energy. The next level is connecting with that specific energy which is in abundance, abundance at that point of time. As the cosmic year moves around, different energies are in abundance at different points of times. And at some points of time, in the same way as the earth is the closest to the sun at some point of time, and at some point of time, it is the furthest away from the sun. In the same way, these energies also come up and down. When it is maximally available, how can we tap into it? That is done by these vratas. And that's why the necessity or the significance of specific periods. We don't uh, celebrate Chaitra Navratri anytime I want. Or if it is not convenient for me, oh, it's not a Sunday. Mm, okay, coming Sunday, we will consider it to be Chaitra Navratri. Yeah, we can do that. But that does not help us tap into that specific moment of time that we need to know. The third thing is that to be able to be happy, to be able to achieve, achieve happiness, we need this body. And the body needs to be healthy. For us to be healthy, there are principles of health. And those principles are invoked within the systems of 
these vratas, the different concepts of Ayurveda are brought in. There are clear and specific principles of Ahar which are followed. You will not see that in Makar Sankranti we had till and good. But in Guru Purnima, we will not have till and good. We will have something different. In Chaitra Navratri, we have uh, the young leaves of Neem which come up. So, in this way, we make use of the different Ayurvedic principles to improve the quality of our health. When the physical health, mental health, emotional health is optimum, our abilities are op optimum and we can achieve what we want. That is the third. The fourth is social well-being and social equality. And the fifth is the need of balancing and the need of letting go. In life, we accumulate lots of experiences, some which are useful, some which are not useful, some which are beneficial, some which are harmful. And we keep on accumulating all of them. We don't get rid of any. At some points, some of these festivals are points where we can get rid of all that which is not necessary. Therefore, when we follow these vratas over the year, we are able to invoke the pranic energy. We are able to invoke and connect with the rutucharya and dinacharya, the Ayurvedic principles. We are able to work with our psychology. We are able to work with our innate abilities and bring things about. At the same time, we have colorful stories which help us feel connected with it. Emotional bonding takes place. So, this way, they are a form of complete health. Individual, as well as social, as well as on a psychological level. So, that is why in India, we had a very strong system of these vratas. And we continue to have them. That is the significance of vratas which are mentioned in the Indian calendar. Are you? Thank you so much, Swamiji, for a beautiful explanation on that. So uh, my next part of the question was, so how do we, I mean, uh, going by your explanation, I want to take up all of them. You know, like we should practice all. But then there's so many. Ati sarvatra varjayet. If you take too much, excess in anything is always harmful. So, takes little by little. So, how do we identify, Swamiji, ki, which ones are right for us and when? Um, see, uh, generally, if you look at it, you can pick up as per your inclination, personal inclination, about 12 to 15 of these vratas. More or less like one per month. And use this time to connect deeper with yourself. As you practice this, over a period of time, you will come to know what you require. Also, the different stories which are there, listen to those stories. Those stories tell us what is there in that vrata. For example, today we are talking about Vasanta Panchami. Yeah, yeah, that's where I'm coming to. 
Today we are talking about Vasant Panchami. What is Vasant Panchami? And what is Vasant Panchami? What is the significance of Vasant Panchami? We all know Vasant. Vasant is spring. Spring is the beginning of life. You see all around, you will see the plants and after the long winter, the plants are coming back to life. You can see the foliage is coming up. This is the time when energy is coming up. And when the energy comes up, then uh, we need to know how to direct that energy, what to direct it for. And Goddess Saraswati is the goddess of the Vidyas. Vidyadi Devata Saksha Dhanya Devi Saraswati. Yat Prasade na Kurvanti Kavyani Kavayaha Kuru. Saraswati is the goddess of the Vidyas, of the knowledge. And when we need to attain different types of knowledge, then we do need Saraswati. Saraswati is not just a person. Saraswati is the consort of Brahma. And it is said that many, 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 many years ago, when the creation was beginning, this is the day when Saraswati first manifested. And she helped Brahma in the creation because it is mentioned many places shiva shaktya yukto yadi bhavati shakta prabhavitum the lord without his energy component shakti is totally powerless these are stories, but these stories tell us an important underlying message. It is on this day that Saraswati manifested. And it is due to the help of Saraswati that all the creations took place in the way they took place. It is due to Saraswati that the propagation of knowledge came about. Saraswati is the Devi of the higher subjects as well as the mundane subjects. If I know how to make use of a specific gear, I can lift a heavy object very easily. Otherwise, I have to use the brawn, my muscles. When we need to make use of our brains, not just brawns, then we will need to make use of this energy. And today, uh, not today, but now, is the day when we work with this energy. And it is also very interesting that there is a slightly different twist in this story also. <clears throat> you know, Shiva, he had two wives, Sati and Parvati. Malum hai na aap logon ko? Shivji ke do patniya thi na? Pehle Shivji, Sati ji ke saath badhte, uske baad Parvati ji kai. Malum hai ki nahi malum hai? Yes. Yes. So, Sati ji ka kya hua? हम सब लोग जानते हैं दक्ष यज्ञ में उन्होंने आत्मदहन कर लिया उसके बाद शिवजी बावले हो गए और फिर विष्णु जी ने देवी जी के शरीरों को शरीर के टुकड़े टुकड़े कर दिए और हर एक स्थान शक्तिपीठ हो गया शिवजी अंततोगत्वा शांत हुए विरक्त हो गए और बैठ गए भाई ध्यान मग्न हो गए
अब पार्वती जी ने जन्म लिया पार्वती जी ने अलग अलग साधनाएं की पार्वती जी परम कठिन साधनाएं की उनका एक नाम है अपर्णा और अपर्णा का मतलब है जो पत्ते भी खाना छोड़ दिए थे शिवजी के साधना में पहले धीरे धीरे करके एक 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 अन्न का प्रकार छोड़ते गए उसके बाद केवल पत्तों पर जीवित रही उसके बाद पत्ते भी छोड़ दिए केवल वायु भक्षण करके वो जीवित रही वो हो गए अपर्णा तो बहुत साधनाएं की हम तो गत्वा शिवजी प्रसन्न हुए और बहुत मनाने पर शिवजी राजी हो गए भाई हम शादी करेंगे लेकिन उसका कोई मोल तो नहीं रहता है जब तक एंगेजमेंट नहीं होता है शादी का कोई वैल्यू होता है क्या शादी का हाँ 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 हम शादी करेंगे शादी करेंगे लेकिन एंगेजमेंट नहीं हुआ तो या तो दुल्हन या तो दुल्हा राजी नहीं है ये हम मानते हैं ना जब सगाई हो जाती है तब मान जाते कि हाँ भाई दोनों एक जोड़ा हो रहे हैं तो ये वसंत पंचमी वो दिन है जब शिव जी और पार्वती जी की सगाई हुई और बहुत जल्दी ही उनकी शादी हो गई शिवजी की शादी कब हो गई मालूम है वेन वेन वॉज द मैरिज ऑफ शिवा एंड पार्वती वेन इज द मैरिज ऑफ शिवा एंड पार्वती वसंत पंचमी नो 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 शिवरात्रि तीज कहते हैं उस दिन हुई थी क्या स्वामी जी हाँ? गणेश चतुर्थी के एक दिन पहले तीज करके जो बनाते हैं बिहार में हाँ उस दिन ना, हुई थी? नहीं ना सगाई सगाई यहाँ हुई थी शादी की मैं बात कर रही हूँ नहीं नहीं शा, शादी महाशिवरात्रि अरे okay. नहीं मैं महाशिवरात्रि मैं सोच रही हूँ कि उनका उद्भव का दिन है ना 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 वो शादी वो तो शिव जी आई भोले की बरतिया हिमाचल नगरी वो उसी दिन की बात है वो तो शिव जी की जो शादी हुई थी उस समय उसके पहले की सगाई की तिथि वसंत पंचमी की तिथि मानी जाती है और बिहार प्रांत में इन बिहार दिस देर आर थ्री पूजा डेज फर्स्ट इज दुर्गा पूजा एवरीबडी नोज दुर्गा पूजा विजयादशमी वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट फेस्टिवल्स द सेकेंड इज काली पूजा और पीपल ऑल्सो सेलिब्रेटेड एज लक्ष्मी पूजा लक्ष्मी पूजन दीपावली एंड द थर्ड इज वसंत पंचमी सरस्वती पूजा वसंत पंचमी इज द डे वेन वी वर्शिप सरस्वती एंड सरस्वती इज द देवी ऑफ विद्या सो This is also the time that the vidyarambha sanskar is given to the child. Janmanat jayate shudraha sanskarat vija uchchate veda patha dhaved vipraha brahma jana tit brahmana. Sanskaras are those activities by which the jiva is uplifted. it is not an activity of the intellect but it is an activity where the atma is undergoing a evolution and this is the day when the vidyarambha sanskar is done traditionally vidyarambha is done on in vidyaram we get people to write some places they carve on the tongue there are different ways which can be done but this is the significance of vasant panchami the dawn of knowledge the dawn of higher abilities the dawn of 
the first step towards upgrading oneself. So Swamiji, as a spiritual, you know, aspirant, what should we do, especially on Vasant Panchmi, which will help us in our journey? See, as spiritual aspirants, Saraswati is very important, and the knowledge needs to be brought in. So, Vidyaram happens not only for small children, but it can happen for everybody. This is always a very good day to begin any educational activity, any activity of Swadhyay, any activity of receiving or granting knowledge. Because please remember, those who teach learn much more. Aap logo mein anek shikshak honge. There might be many teachers amongst you and you will accept and agree that the more you teach, the more you learn. So, this is the day a spiritual aspirant can take a sankalpa to start some studies, swadhyay or shikshan. This is also a day when a teacher can take a sankalpa to teach others. And for those who are interested into the forms of worship, they can use this day to undertake certain practices by which we can invoke that energy. We know that mantra has got a very powerful impact. We know what I am talking just now is basically a modification of waves. I am not sitting in front of you. But the form has been captured. It gets coded. It goes across. And now you can see in front of you. We are all over the world. But we are in one virtual reality. How does that happen? That happens through knowledge. That happens through the processing of waves. Mantra is activated processed sound which can activate the inner centers. So, on this day of Vasant Panchami, you should sit down and meditate on the form of Saraswati. There are different mantras of invocation of Saraswati. You can use any of them. If you don't know any of them, one of the simplest is Om Aim Saraswatyai Namaha. It doesn't get much simpler than that. So just that much, close your eyes, visualize the form and chant that mantra. And you can see the form of Devi in front of you. And you chant this and deepen your connection with her. And you feel a difference. Because that energy starts getting activated within. This is not a fantasy. This is not, you know, uh, mind's uh, hallucinations. No. It is utilizing the mind to activate subtle centers within us. And those of you who want can do the Shodashopachar Puja. Because why is Shodash important? Because in the moon, you have got 15 days from new moon, Amavasya, to Purnima. When the moon is full and the light is shining maximum, that is the 15th day. And beyond the 15th is the 16th, the unmanifest too. And that's why the Shodashopachar Puja, 16 forms of worship. And every form of worship actually works inside. But when you do all these rituals, if you follow the systematic 
पद्धति देन इट हेल्प इन इंक्रीजिंग द प्राणिक एनर्जी सपोज यू आर नॉट एबल टू डू दैट देन एंड दिस वॉट आई एम टेलिंग नाउ इज वेरी वेरी यूजफुल एंड इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ योगा डू द पंचोपचार पूजा एंड पंचोपचार पूजा इज वेरी वेरी सिंपल इट ऑल्सो ब्रिंग्स इन सम अदर आस्पेक्ट ऑफ योगा विच आई विल टेल यू द पंचोपचार एंड लेट मी सी इफ सम ऑफ यू कैन रिकॉग्नाइज वॉट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑन द योगिक लेवल सो वी इन पंचोपचार पूजा वी बिगिन विथ लम पृथ्व्यात्मक गंधम कल्पयामी हम आकाशात्मक पुष्प कल्पयामी यम वायव्यात्मक धूपम कल्पयामी रम अग्न्यात्मक दीपम कल्पयामी वम अमृतात्मक अमृतमय महानैवेद्यम कल्पयामी सम सर्वात्मक सर्वोपचार पूजा संकल्पयामी नम दीज आर द फाइव मंत्राज एंड देन द सिक्स इज encompassing every you just do these how how long did it take maximum 5 minutes swami ji 5 minutes nahi 1 minute 1 minute 1 minute and But don't tell me that you don't have 1 minute 1 minute if we have to offer directly chandanam and offer the flower I, what did I, i said kalpayami i am visualizing this to be done समर्पयामी नहीं बोल रहा हूँ वेन यू हैव एन ऑब्जेक्ट एंड यू आर ऑफरिंग इट देन यू से समर्पयामी अब तुम्हारे पास है ही नहीं कुछ देने के लिए और मैं बोल रहा हूँ दे रहा हूँ तो भगवान बोलेगा बेटा तुम ब्लैंक चेक दे रहे हो अनसाइन चेक दे रहे हो जब तुम्हारे अकाउंट में कुछ नहीं है सो वेन वी आर ऑफरिंग समथिंग वी से समर्पयामी वेन वी आर नॉट ऑफरिंग समथिंग देन वी से कल्पयामी आए विजुअलाइज दैट so therefore it is lam prithivyatmakam gandham kalpayami and so on so now a question to the participants of yoga do you feel do you does something seems familiar here yes the yeah yes. lam pam ram all this uh, uh, the uh, uh, bijakshara bijakshara uh, okay for the chakras, chakras. Are involved. the chakras swami the chakras are involved aha uh -huh. and yes. pancham pancham ha bhuta kalpa imagine with uh, yes uh, dekhiye hmm to sab jankari to hai hi aapke paas mein cosmic puja it's cosmic yes. puja it is the yogic puja i will say because you are saying lam lam is the bija mantra for मूलाधार बट इट इज ऑल्सो फॉर पृथ्वी तत्व सो लम पृथ्वीत्मक गंधम कल्पयामी हम आकाशात्मक पुष्पम कल्पयामी यम वायव्यात्मक धूपम कल्पयामी रम अग्न्यात्मक दीपम कल्पयामी सो यू सी वी आर मेकिंग यूज ऑफ द तत्वाज we are making use of the pancha mahabhutas we are making use of the chakras and we are making use of the mantra what more do you need is it actually a religious puja or is it a yogic practice batlaiye hmm it is yogic as you said it is a yogic practice all you have to do is practice yoga but everybody doesn't know and everybody can't practice it everybody is not inclined to practice also but when you give it a form and you say you have to do it in this manner it becomes very easy anybody can do it of course the impact they will have is small but impact they will have is nevertheless the society keeps improving but we who are practitioners of yoga that is all what we need to do sit down close your eyes meditate on the form of devi and visualize this form so 
she is sitting on the beautiful peacock and she has the veena in one hand she has the pustak the symbol of knowledge in the other she is in the satvik white dress and when you visualize this then you chant om aim saraswatyai namaha <coughs> you can chant it 108 times and then you make an offering to her with the tatvas which are present in you through the chakras across the lokas across the pranas because when you are working with the tatvas we are working with the pancha mahabhutas when you are working with the uh, chakras tatvas and uh, mahabhutas you are also working with the pranas every chakra has a correlation so you are and then you have offered everything that is there to you you offer it to her she purifies it and gives it back to you what is that that is the part of tatva shuddhi so you see uh, the religious practices they are actually yogic practices but so that it becomes very easy for the masses to practice they have been evolved in a manner which becomes easy for everybody to understand and very easy and uh, they are not so dry to sit down in meditation sit still don't move your body eyes closed oh god this is hopeless i don't want this but you have a nice beautiful murti of saraswati you have nice flowers you have nice this you have nice book you oh everybody enjoys it so you see the form has changed but the essence is the same even today all over the country there is another oh yes i forgot there is another aspect every time when we do saraswati puja you know we draw a saraswati yantra do you remember mm -hmm. yeah so what is this you have mantra you have yantra you have mandala these are the basis Tantra. of tantric puja so we are, what we are doing is tantra and tantra is the basis of yoga so please understand how things are related this is a practice of self improvement self enhancement but in a beautiful form not with your eyes closed but with your eyes open not all alone but in a group that is the basis once we understand this yogic essence according to our inclination we can do as elaborate as we want or we can do as simple as we want we can do a havan with the mantra om aim saraswatyay swaha om aim saraswatyay swaha and so on you know so if we want to make it more elaborate there are so many ways to do it but the point is we have to connect with that energy how do we connect it that's our choice so that is the significance and that is the methodology of worship of yogic worship of ma saraswati great swami ji thank you so i have another question that i think i'll open uh, for any uh, anyone who wants to ask any question uh, first from swami ji on the sant panchmi or fast and festivals uh, please um, you know you can unmute yourself and ask the question or put it in the chat window Okay, so I'll ask my last question in the meantime, and if you have, we'll pause for uh, questions again towards the end. So, Swami Ji, my last question for today was: We talked about uh, Goddess Saraswati being the 
you know, goddess of knowledge and education. And um, I think I can talk on behalf of most parents here that we are always, you know, wondering what is the right form of education for children? Because what the, uh, the how much pressure the children go through uh, for exams and marks, and it all seems something is not right, you know? So what should be the purpose of education? Is it to get good marks and good jobs? Or are we missing something here? As parents, what should we be focusing on? Are you asking me a question to be answered in five minutes or <laughs> a question for, uh, lasting for one hour? That is what I was wondering <laughs> in five minutes. <laughs> what a question. But I have already answered your question. You see, what is the purpose? I told you, Vidya is a samskar. Vidya is a samskar. So, and what is the importance of a samskar? Janmanat jayate shudraha samskarat dvija uchyate. By birth, we all are shudra. What does shudra mean? Shudra comes from the word shudra. Shudra means small. Our consciousness is limited. Samskarat dvija uchyate. By samskara, our consciousness starts blossoming and we get a second birth and as we progress it increases that is the purpose of education and knowledge and the education which we receive today is not education it is uh, upajivika vidya upajivika see in sanskrit it our career is known as Upa Jivika. It is not known as Jivika, not the main focus of life. It is the accessory second focus of life. You need career, but you need it for a purpose. In today's times, we have forgotten that the social, social situation is different. So therefore, it is rather difficult. I understand. And on the topic of Vasan Panchami, what I can certainly say is that if you get your child to do three things, which were the basis of, you know, uh, many years ago, many hundred years ago, when our lifestyles were different, young children would go to their teacher's place and mm -hmm. they underwent a samskara which was known as Upanayana Samskara. Upanayana. And it was there for boys and girls both initially and then social circumstances, etc. etc. But that Upanayana Samskara means you begin the ability to learn. And when you begin the ability to learn, do you know what they gave? They gave three things to the child. First, Surya Namaskar. So that you can get the pranic energy and you can activate the Surya Nadi. Second was Pranayam. And Pranayam can activate our brain in addition to many things. And the third was the Gayatri Mantra. These three things, they have a very powerful impact on your pineal gland. And the pineal gland controls your pituitary. And your pituitary controls the entire hormonal axis. And the hormones govern the way we think, the way we talk, the way we behave. So, with these three simple things, you improve the ability of the child to perceive to grasp, to understand, and to express. So, what I would say is, all children should practice these three things. Surya Namaskar, Nadi Shodhan Pranayam, and Gayatri Mantra. If they don't have much of time, and in the morning, just wipe your hands, wash your face, 
and as the sun comes up just chant 11 rounds of gayatri and after that you can go back to bed no problem because nowadays children uh, they go to bed around 2 o'clock 3 o'clock that's how the society is so getting up at sunrise might be difficult but if the child really wants to make a change ask the child to get up at that point do your pranam go back to bed fair enough i don't want to disturb them too much just this much i if that is also not possible when they get up they just do these three things kaam khatam and when you start your studies first thing when you are studying don't study for more than 30 to 40 minutes at a stretch the brain after that cannot take up more information second when you study you should start with om chanting or bhramari that makes your brain more receptive you study and in the end whatever you have studied try to make a mind map a mental visualization okay this is what is there then that is there then that is there spend if you are studying for 35 minutes study for 25 to 28 minutes and use those 7 8 minutes to make a mind map and then move ahead very simple way how to become more effective i always like to say study smart not just study hard so this is there and the devi of smartness is saraswati she grants us this knowledge so when it is vasant panchami then take a nice new book draw the saraswati yantra on it and chant om aim saraswatyai namaha 108 times 54 times 27 times 11 times whatever you you know uh, would like to do nadi sadan pranayam and if you can just do a short meditation do this panchopchar puja or whatever you like to and then begin you will see that our ability starts changing try it out and instead of trying it out on others try it out on yourself this vasant panchami make use of this period to connect to devi and observe for one month or three months daily do this and just see what is the difference in our perception in our abilities in our strengths and resources then tell the children you will find you don't even need to tell the children they have already observed what you are doing they have seen the difference and they have implemented it themselves so bahut simple aur aasan hai hai na <laughs> i hope so swami ji with the exam Chalye. coming up i hope it is helpful <laughs> uh, i think there was some question in the chat window uh shweta is asking where do we get the yantra and the mantra from <laughs> and the series mm. of conversations for children as well ठीक है कराइए हम गप करने में हमको क्या जाता है हम गप तो कभी भी किसी के साथ भी कर लेंगे यू सी द मंत्रा इज वेरी सिंपल एंड वेन इज आई थिंक ट्वेंटी सिक्स इज सरस्वती पूजा राइट यस रिपब्लिक डे हॉलीडे इज वेल तो इफ पीपल आर इंटरेस्टेड आप देख लीजिएगा इफ पीपल आर इंटरेस्टेड ऑन दैट डे वी कैन हैव अ नाइस मे बी एन आवर और आवर एंड हाफ नाइंटी मिनिट्स वर्कशॉप ऑन अ स्मॉल आराधना फॉर सरस्वती that very good swami ji and especially if you can do something that will be lovely that will be a great idea that will be a great idea okay so we can do that no problem hmm? because uh, and then at the same time shweta you can uh, organize some children to be present so bahut anand aa jayega bahut acche se hum dhoom dham se mana kar ke kar sakte hain and you know the last thing which i 
would like to tell you before we leave our calendar is full of excuses to enjoy <laughs> because our ancestors knew you see in the beginning uh, there was a question we want happiness we want peace we want balance we want you know all these things we keep forgetting that we are that what is your form sat chit ananda are anand you are the form of your bliss divine so if you are bliss divine why do you want bliss from outside because i have forgotten my form these are excuses to connect back and second thing is when 10 different people come together you are doing some puja some you know coming together it uplifts a person so if i am getting too heavy in my head if i am going into some mental trip doing this automatically pulls me out from my negative pulls and helps me come back on my path that is why there are so many and we should choose about one a month otherwise then uh, the whole day uh, whole year will just be doing that no one a month is more than enough and we do it in this manner you see very shortly there will be a difference which comes in so amici what is the uh, significance of a high grave upasana with the saraswati puja oh high griva you know you know do you know the story of high griva no they say that once brahma ji was sleepy 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 and he yawned and he was in his sleep and uh, the vedas came out from his mouth <laughs> and a demon in the form of a horse came and swallowed it all up all the knowledge was lost and it became a problem so bhagwan vishnu himself took the form of a horse and defeated this demon to release the vedas back to the world mm. and that is why haya griva he is haya griva means the head and neck like a horse and he relieved and he brought the vedas back vedas and saraswati they are hand in hand so that is the significance of hayagriva and uh, since we are doing lalita sahasranam archana it is said that this knowledge was given by hayagriva himself to agastya muni kumbhaja muni so that is how the knowledge came to be disseminated and for us who are doing lalita sahasra archan and actually you know maybe this should be a separate topic in itself i think we are already past so baad mein kar lete hain i think uh, we should conclude we are past 8:30 okay sure so amiji questions will never end but we respect your time thank you so let us do a short shanti part please sit comfortably eyes gently closed hands on your knees head neck shoulders back in a straight line eyes and mouth gently closed awareness at the eyebrow center bring the same image which you had chosen in the beginning of the session and con- connecting deeply with this image we shall chant the mantra om three times followed by shanti part taking in a deep breath om
Asato ma sadgamaya, tamaso ma jyotir gamaya, mrityor ma mrutam gamaya, sarveshan tvasti bhavatu, sarveshan shantir bhavatu, sarveshan purnam bhavatu, Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu Loka Samastha Sukhino Bhavantu Om Triambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushtivardhanam Urvakam Ivabandhana Rutyor Mukshiyam Amratat Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Hands in Pranam Mudra. Tvameva Mata Chapita Tvameva Tvameva Bandhusha Sakha Tvameva Tvameva Vidya Dravidam Tvameva Tvameva Sarvam Mama Deva Deva Vami Vasarvam Mama Deva Deva Vami Vasarvam Mama Deva Deva Hari Hi Om Hari Om That's it. Gently rub your palms against the figure. Here's the one to close the eyes. Experience the warmth radiating from your palms to your eyes, to the brain, to the whole body. And then gently move your palms away, open your eyes. Ariyom, Satsat, Namo Narayan, Jai.